Hello everyone, this is Table Salt, a Natanko with a lot more ideas but a lot less time. Welcome to the new series called I Tried to Build, where I build and review Gunpla from an amateur's perspective. This is episode 1, the super deformed crossbone Gundam. Let's start with the unboxing. I'd like to go to the bottom first to get to the manual first. Man, should have cut the tapes beforehand. As for the runners and parts, the content is pretty minimal as to, ex as to be expected from an SD grade. This is actually my first time, well technically my second time building an SD grade. The first one I, I built was a bootleg double O Gundam I got my cousin got from his birthday. The reason why I kinda don't count that as my, as my first experience since the building experience of that to this is vastly different. This is actually a cross silhouette SD, meaning this kit is compatible with the new CS frame. What the CS frame does is essentially improves the articulation slash range of motion of the model. Unfortunately though, I don't have this as I am broke and I don't want to spend 500 pesos more on this kind of kit. Now onto the building experience. It's really basic compared to a high grade. The limbs are made out of like 4 or 5 parts and can only move at certain angles. Though surprisingly, this kit does not have a huge sticker sheet. From what I've seen on reviews of other SD kits, they have a really huge sticker sheet to compensate for the lack of colored parts. Another surprising thing about this kit is the backpack. It is very well detailed, even beating some high grades. A 
Alright, now time for the review portion. For the looks, I'm honestly impressed by how much detail was put into the design. I expect there would be minimal detail in these kinds of kits since they are the deformed version of their respective high grade or master grade counterparts. The color accuracy is possible. There are some inaccuracies but you can fix some of them using the provided stickers. The only weapon really stick out of the accuracy department especially is the beam effect of the cutlass. That should be pink, not white. With that articulation, I'll throw in some sample poses. It's very minimal, as expected from an SD kit. Though from what I've gathered, the CS frame does improve the articulation quite a lot. I streamed I don't have it. With those factors in, I'm giving this kit a solid 7 over 10. It was definitely a big surprise from a small package.